Hi, Rich Wagner here, and we're just wrapping up two wonderful workshops in Bali in Indonesia. It's a, a country that's just beyond beautiful, and the people are as nice as could be. The, we took, uh, I, I guess I took probably 4,000 photos. The attendees took uh, <laughs> much more than that. And I don't think we ever had a situation where someone asked us not to take a photo. It was just fabulous. What I want to do now is just give you a quick overview of how, using Lightroom, we were able to take what were really beautifully composed photos and uh, just, just make them, take them from good to absolutely great. It's not a lesson on the steps to go through, it's more of a lesson on what you can do. So let's start with the first one. This gentleman was part of a dance troupe that did the barong dance for us and we were lucky enough to be able to go backstage and watch them prepare and uh, that was that in itself was a fascinating experience so this is he was sitting meditating a little bit before we started the dance and the first thing we did was make some exposure adjustments and then we cropped and straightened the photo you can see up here we have this orange line and we decided to get rid of that and straighten the photo and then using a brush tool we darkened the background around the man and but at the same time brought him back a little bit in the foreground a little change to vibrance and clarity and we went from this to this in the color tones so there's our original shot I really like the composition and I like the story that the photo told and with maybe a minute worth of work, we wound up with this. Truly a fabulous photo. The next one has just a kind of mystic, magical quality to it. I loved it the minute I saw it. And uh, again, we made some exposure adjustments. We did a little straightening of it and brought in a little more saturation here on the trees to the left, but we still kept that kind of mystical, smoky look to it. So if we look at the before and after, we went from this to this. Let's take a look at them side by side. You can see the before where we're, you know, just a little bit, well, photographers call it flat, and we added just a little punch and really brought out the dreamy quality of this photo. Bali has rice fields that are beyond belief. The Each village, and, and usually each family in the village, has their own rice field. And they go on for miles and miles and miles. And I have some just absolutely fabulous photos. But I love this one from an attendee. When it came in, it looked like this. And I, each rice field has a small temple for offerings. And this is exactly what this little tin-shaped hut is. The attendee just captured the perspective here to really make that such an important part of the picture. And it's a, an unusual view. So uh, we started to work with that. And using a graduated filter, we brought in, we brought the sky down and that forest down so that it becomes a less important part of the picture by darkening it selectively. We added some vibrance to the rice and, and uh, mostly to the greens in the rice. And then using the brush tool, we just brought down the color, uh, not the color, but the, uh, the brightness of the roof on the little offering temple. This was the before, and I thought it needed to be softened a little bit. Now you can differ, and, and all this is, you know, based on doing it to your taste, but that's what I thought it called for. And then I added some mid-tone contrast with clarity. So once again, we started with a beautifully composed photo, wound up with this after starting with this. And let's take a look at them side by side. The before is on the left, the after is on the right. Uh, if you're like me, when you saw the before, you thought that's a fine, fine photo. 
And with just a little touch, again, this isn't something that took me, I don't think it took a minute. We can take a, a really beautiful photo and turn it into a stunningly beautiful photo. And now I'm going to throw in one of mine so you can see that uh, all of us can take our great photos and make them fabulous photos with a little bit of Lightroom work. So this is that rehearsal that I mentioned earlier before the Barong dance, and I love the fact that you can see her putting on her makeup using a very old mirror that is backed with an old piece of cardboard. And uh, she's absolutely a beautiful woman. So I took that photo, which I liked a lot, and just brought back a little bit of black. Here's the before the black, here's after the black. So we gave it a little contrast. And then I threw in a little vignette to darken the corners and draw you into the center part of the, of the picture. Here's the before and the after. And here's our side-by-side -side view. Now, I love the before over here on the left, but the after really has a lot of punch. So all of these are techniques that we talked about in Lightroom to take, starting with a well-composed photo, to take that photo from uh, a good starting point to just a fabulous shot that you'd be proud to hang on your wall or submit to stock or uh, use it illustrating a magazine article. So this is Rich, about to leave Bali, off to my 37-hour flight back to uh, home and can't wait to get back here. What a fabulous country with just wonderful people. Happy shooting.